I'm Kirsten at the recording studio over at Fusion. Let's go in and have a look. I'm here with DJ who runs the music program here at Fusion. What goes on here? Uh, well, there are uh, three programs that we kind of run here. Um, one would be lessons. Uh, the next would be open jam. And the third would be recording. Uh, we offer um, guitar lessons, drum lessons, bass lessons, um, lessons in recording, lessons on mixing, lessons on mastering. There's probably some, a couple other instruments like percussion that we can get into, uh, some basic stuff with uh, keyboards and whatnot. But yeah, that's kind of that's where the lessons go. Um, and the lessons are tailored for anyone who um, who just, you know, they've picked up an instrument for the first time or they've been playing for a while. You know, they'll definitely benefit from um, some of the stuff that I have to, to offer and, and even some of the collaborations to work together and produce music together. Um, I think which is the goal of lessons is to be able to write your own music, play what you hear on the radio, have that kind of ability to play what you hear in your head or play what you, you hear uh, with your ears. So that is the lessons and they are offered on Monday and Tuesday from 2.30 till 5.30 uh, every week. Then we've got, uh, we've got the, uh, the open jam uh, program which is really meant for you know, people that don't maybe want formal lessons or, you know, maybe they just want to sing or they just want to play. Um, maybe they have a band, they have nowhere to practice, um, so they can come here, set up the equipment. We've got guitars out there, we've got basses out there, we've got amps and drums and microphones. Uh, so we've got everything that a band would need. So they can just show up and practice all they want. Um, and then those that, that maybe aren't into the band thing, uh, I mean, they can bring their iPod. We have the connection for that. So they just plug it into the mixer. And then they can sing along with their favorite songs. They can do it just by themselves or they can bring some friends in, uh, which is normally what happens. Um, but yeah, the open jam is very informal. Just kind of show up and, and have fun with the rest of the, the youth that show up. Can the youth here record their own music? Yeah, definitely. In fact, uh, I mean, that's one of the things that we're, we're really trying to encourage. Is that they come in, uh, if they have songs that they've already written or they need help writing songs, all that help is available. But yeah, that's, you know, what this, uh, this equipment is for, is um, to get them, whether they want to sing to their favorite song and record their voice, or in the band setting, say a band wants to record a song, uh, they can come on in and we can record each instrument separately or record them all together at the same time. I see a lot of cool equipment here. What is all this stuff? Well, here at Fusion, uh, this is our state-of-the-art digital recording uh, studio. We have, you know, the best of the best of the digital gear. Uh, in fact, you'll find this exact gear in the top studios around the world. That's how good this stuff is. Uh, we also have, um, you know, pro quality microphones. Um, we have pro quality uh, audio to digital converters and digital to analog converters. Uh, we have state of the art monitoring, uh, state of the art computer um, and screen. So yeah, we uh, we really um, went the professional route. Uh, we've got given a grant by the Trillium Foundation. Um, of $150,000 and with that we used um, that money to not only build the studio but to buy all the equipment. What computer program do you use for recording? Uh, we use uh, the industry standard which is uh, Pro Tools and in fact we have a Pro Tools HD system uh, which is the highest end of, of what um, Pro Tools offers. So Pro Tools records sound and then allows you to manipulate it. So if we, um, there are two different views um, that you work with. So here is the arrange um, window and each instrument is on its own track. So we've got these blobs here uh, which are called waveforms 
uh, represent instruments that are on those specific tracks. So you can find out if there's nothing here, there's nothing on the track until it gets to this point. Um, so it's got the name to the far left, uh, it's got a mute, it basically mimics what's on here and this mimics what's on there, which is, you know, fantastic. DJ, how does the recording process work? The recording process normally uh, starts out with a phase called pre-production. Most of pre-production normally happens, you know, with a, a band and they kind of work it out in their garage or wherever they're practicing. So that's basically kind of making the song. Um, then the next stage is to actually record it. And this is where you set up microphones. Um, and usually the band will play together. Um, and maybe you record all of them at the same time. Or maybe you record only the drums first. Or, or you know, something that maybe the drummer's going to need to hear. Maybe it's a guitar and a vocal. And then you get the drums done. Um, so sometimes songs are done like that, uh, instrument by instrument. Other bands prefer to do it all together, so that's where you record all at the same time. So each instrument would get their own mic, and it would go through our, uh, our equipment here, preamps. Um, so you'd stick a microphone, which goes into a preamp, and then that would come into the recording console. So could you do robot voices and stuff? We can do robot voices and stuff. Uh, yeah, we can do uh, lots of weird and wacky stuff. We can make people sound like aliens. Uh, it's pretty fascinating. So what's this big room used for? Uh, this room is our tracking room. It's our live tracking room. So um, this is where a band will come in and set up uh, all their gear, their drums, if they've brought stuff or they can just, you know, use this stuff. Um, but this is where we actually record the music. And it's also where, you know, when people come in for open jam, this is where they would come. So if they have an iPod, they would walk over there uh, to the mixer um, and plug their iPod in and they would sing in here. Or they would come and plug a guitar in um, and, you know, kind of jam out. But this is where, you know, the sound is, the music is. Um, and even some of the lessons uh, happen here. Anything like drums would happen in this room. Is this where you record a singer? Yeah, this is, uh, this is exactly where we record the singer. Uh, it's got a, it's a special room. It's got, um, you'll notice there's more of these black panels um, than any other room here. So this is technically the deadest room, meaning there's not as much air, noise, reverberation, all that kind of stuff. So it makes it a great spot to uh, record vocals and we have a great tube mic that we record vocals with. So yeah, we've got sight lines to the control room and the tracking room so that everybody can see everybody. And this is where the vocals are done. So the singer would have headphones on, they would hear the band that's playing out there, and then they would sing uh, to that the music that they're hearing through their headphones. Um, and they'll also be able to hear me in the control room talking to them through their headphones as well. So it, it allows us to all be in the same virtual room, even though we're physically in different rooms. And in the end, we bring all the instruments that were recorded separately together, and that's what makes a song. Okay, thank you, DJ.